Okay. Well, we're finally back here. We're finally back working on yes, the Toronado and we're trying to at least get it running, uh, which may be a, a lot bigger ass than whatnot because I have the most messed up fuel line set up I've ever seen. So I have to uh, make some fuel lines. And of course, okay. I've run into an issue where my uh, cutter just decided to, I don't know, uh, die. It says it's warranted quality on the bottom. Uh, it's excellent warranty quality. I have no idea where to get this replaced, but I'm going to have to figure a way to use it to cut that, cut these lines, and i got to put a flare on that. So, yeah, it, when you're uh, trying to go and fix someone else's work, it um, it's never straightforward. So this ought to be fascinating. Let me get to it and see if I can what I can do. Okay, I've bent this at a better angle. Um, I bent this at a better angle now. So when I put it on, it will kind of flow a little smoother into the engine. Yeah, this thing needs a flare on the end because I'm attaching a fuel line to it. And uh, I really don't like the feeling of not having a, uh, a flare on the end. So we're going to take, put it into this flare tool. And this is a single flare, not a, um, a double, not a double flare. Because that's what you, I'm going to be buying that kit to do brake lines. Um, all right. And the way it works, just see, you take it like that. It's very simple. And you pray to get enough leverage and you can flare it out. The flare isn't so, the flare on this isn't that important. I just need something for the the hose to stop on because there's there's nothing there and the, it was completely flat. So after I uh, went and replaced my warranted warranted quality uh, pipe cutter, so I can actually yeah, let's see if this Chinese one works better. Yeah, made in China, not in good China. Uh, so I can cut these pipes and run this. Um, fuel line a safe way because what I'm trying to do here let me show see I got it angled this way I'm trying to come up and go down and then come so I can come at a just have short pieces of rubber in between so it'll be less likely to have I don't know a fire so we're going to be working on that so this has been fun nothing nothing more fun okay so I have made a new fuel line and I've installed the carburetor. Now we're just going to see if we can get it running. I have some ether. This is, uh, it's not fun, but I'll show you how everything's hooked up. Tried to run the shortest amount of line. I had some issues with the uh, line where it got kinked, but uh, it's a lot better than it was. So I kept about three three or four inches of hose to kind of minimize that. Now I just got to figure out the linkage because it's missing. So we have to work on that. And I'm going to bend uh, these brake lines so they uh, go into that block so I can get some brakes on this thing so it can be moved around. As long as I can get that, as long as I can get the uh, linkage set up, it's been an, this has been a uh, absolute ordeal, as usual, with this car. Okay, we'll work on uh, getting it running. All right, while the owner was going out getting a battery so he can hopefully get this thing started, uh, I went and I finished getting the brake lines all hooked up, Try to make some safety on this. I have a distribution block now. At least it's a dull master cylinder. 
and just kind of had to finesse all the lines to get them in there and try to keep them away from the exhaust manifold. So that's pretty, a pretty good thing right there. I had to go back in and uh, fix the rubber hoses because I got confused since I had nothing to work with and I have them switched both side to side. And then uh, we'll uh, get some gas in it. And of course we need a, a throttle cable because um, that throttle cable just isn't gonna work. It's just not. Um, yeah. So at least we'll have it running and we'll figure out some way to get a throttle cable. The actual accelerator pedal, the, the pedal is completely disconnected inside the car. So yeah, this is great. So my microphone decided to, I don't know, take day off. Just as we're about to get the engine running, the engine started up pretty quick, and I was hitting with ether to try to keep it running because I don't know if the, how the settings were on the carburetor. I kind of left things where they were, hoping that that would be good enough. So it didn't work that great, because just because it's been not run for so long, and this is a Holley carburetor. So what the carburetor started to do was basically push gas out the vents because the floats were too high. Even though I set them where they were originally when I got the carburetor home and started working on it. So now here I am trying to adjust the floats to where the car will run but not starve. So to start it and it a little bit more came out because it's when you spun it, it was like it just spat back up. Okay, so now I lowered it down a little bit more. Went to go start it, nothing happened. And I was there was no starter, so it's like the battery's brand new. So I took a test lamp, ran from negative to the positive junction box, and that was power. So that tells me the positive cable is good. So then I switch it, put the lead on the positive. And I start touching the block, and, I, and there's no light. There's no ground to the block. Then battery, the sketchy battery cable we had, it, it was sketchy enough that it it totally failed on the inside, and we lost the negative cable after running for maybe tw 20 seconds. So right now we have to go out and buy a battery cable, and in part two we'll see that. And I hope that you guys got some from this. Please comment about any type of uh, stuff you had to do to get a car running again. Uh, just on this car in general. Just on the video in general. Ask any questions. And uh, please like, subscribe. Because I'll make more car videos and videos related to this show up in your feed. So it helps you too. And as always, if you have a cool old car or a classic, take it out. Because you'll make someone's day. Maybe even your own. And I'll catch you down the road.